Welcome. In this video, we will learn about lattice energy. What is lattice energy? How the lattice energy is theoretically calculated? We can calculate the theoretic. Uh, we can calculate the lattice energy using von Landau equation. Von Landau has developed a theoretical treatment to calculate the lattice energy. Okay. Similarly, von Haber using experimental method using this von Haber cycle. He calculated, he obtained the experimental lattice energy. First, and we will solve a few problems based on the lattice energy as in JE, NEET, and other exams. Okay, for example, let us first see what is von Landau equation. Okay, now according to what is before we see the von Landau equation, what is lattice energy? Lattice energy is defined as the energy released. For example, energy released when one mole of an ionic crystal, when one mole of an ionic crystal is formed from its ions, from its ions in the gaseous state. That is very important. Here, gaseous state. The energy is always released. Therefore, the lattice energy is exothermic because uh, because of the attraction between it, because of the electrostatic force of attraction between the opposite charge ions. Uh, the energy is released when one mole of an ionic crystal is formed. Okay, now let us see how uh, um, how does the ion interact? How does the ion interact? For example, plus ion, minus ion, they are far apart. For, for example, these two ions are far apart. Now, when you bring together, when you bring together, what will happen? The energy, the potential energy of the uh, system is equal to the um, it is equal to the potential energy of the individual ion, and then as you bring it closer, as you bring it closer, the distance decreases and there will be an attractive force because of um, because of the electrostatic force of interaction. Because of electrostatic uh, interaction, there will be attraction. As a result, this is an equilibrium distance. Uh, the distance between the two ions or the distance between the two ions. The, the distance between two ions can be calculated from the unit cell length. A. The relation between A and R is, we have discussed in solid state chemistry, please watch the video, you can calculate R from Bragg's equation. Once you know the interplanar spacing distance uh, D, you can calculate A. Once you know A, you can calculate R. Therefore, R can be calculated. As we decrease the distance, what will happen? There will be repulsion. Repulsive force between the two ions due to the electronic charge cloud. Due to the electronic charge cloud. Okay, now, so the total potential energy, the total potential energy, that is the lattice energy, is equal to the attractive potential energy due to attractive force. Potential energy due to attractive force and potential energy due to repulsive force. Okay, now, according to Coulombic force of uh, uh, potential energy of Coulombic force, potential, you know, you have studied in physics. Uh, Z plus E, the charge on the ion, the charge on the ion, cation, that is the uh, charge on the ion plus 1, for example, sodium plus 1 and minus chlorine or SO4 2 minus, 2 minus, the Z minus, and charge on the electron, charge on the electron is given, the distance is uh, given, is obtained from uh, unit cell length A, as we see in the in the solid state chemistry video, solid state chemistry 1. 1 by 4 by epsilon is the permittivity of free space, you know that. And now, this is for only one ion pair. This is for only one ion pair. But in the case of uh, lattice energy, one mole of crystal is formed from their ions. Therefore, Na, Avogadro number, one mole means Avogadro number of ions. Therefore, they are multiplied by M, Na. And also, proportionality constant M. Med where M is known as Na is Avogadro number one mole because one mole of uh, I have a crystal, one mole of crystal, so one mole of ions. And M is mainly constant. It depends on the lattice geometry. For example, you have a BCC. The coordination number is eight. You know the central atom is surrounded by eight. And in the uh, FCC, for example, in the face centered cubic lattice, the coordination number is six. The coordination number is 6. Therefore, Maynard constant depends on the lattice geometry and the position, lattice geometry uh, configuration. Okay, now the this is the according to Bond, 
the repulsive potential energy is given by Na B by actually B by R n R power n. Na is the Avogadro number, okay, because the, the, the one mole of crystal is under consideration. And as you know, at the at the minimum, at the minimum D E by D R, D E by D R is equal to zero. I mean, according to uh, the law of according to the maxima and minima, at the minimum, the, the DE by DR equal to 0. Therefore, on differentiating, please listen, on differentiating this equation, DE by DR, and equal to 0, you can calculate the value of V, okay, by differentiating um, the energy with respect to R, that is equal to 0. When you do the mathematical term, you will get the value of V. Once you get the value of V, you can substitute, then the, this is called bond Landay equation. This equation is often um, asked in many competitive examinations to calculate, they will give you mainland constant. For example, they will give for sodium chloride type or CS cesium chloride type, they will give mainland constant, uh, you know Avogadro number, you know for sodium chloride, the charge is plus one, the charge on the chlorine is minus 1 and the charge on the electron, you know, so 4 by epsilon 0 is constant and n will be, n is bond exponent, this will also be given depending upon the electron density, depending upon the electron density. Okay, so from the mainland constant, uh, you can easily calculate bond exponent, you can calculate the lattice energy uh, and similarly bond number using bond Haber cycle, the lattice energy can be experimentally determined. Now let us solve a you know, problem based on, uh, this is the equation used to solve many lattice energy problems. For example, uh, given uh, a problem as in IIT exam, write the correct order of lattice energy. Lithium have a, lithium have a x equal to chlorine, chlorine, bromine, uh, iodine, iodine, iodine. So the order will be lithium, uh, for example, I have just shown lithium chloride, lithium chloride, lithium bromide, lithium iodide. As you see, the lattice energy is directly proportional to, for example, the repulsive force is uh, often neglected for, uh, for this, for this case. Therefore, the lattice energy is uh, directly, directly proportional to charge on the ion. Okay? Charge on the ion and inversely proportional to the radius. Radius of the distance between the two ions. For example, as you see, lithium fluoride, lithium fluoride, as you see, the charge, for example, in this case, plus one minus one, plus one minus one, plus one minus one, plus one minus one. So this is this is same constant. This is constant. Only the, if you look at the radius, the radius, the distance between R, this is small and this is large. Therefore, the, in this case. The radius is larger, therefore lattice energy is lower. Therefore lattice energy is lower, therefore in this case the radius is small, therefore the, uh, the lattice energy is inversely proportional radius, it is smaller when lattice energy is higher, therefore it will be in this order. Okay. So this is a very common question they will ask in um, for example, another example I will show here, sodium fluoride and magnesium oxide. In this case, for example, in this case, plus 1, minus 1, plus 2. The charge on the ion is minus 2. Okay. So, in this case, the charge is, for example, charge is, charge is, is directly proportional to charge. Therefore, and in the sodium chloride, magnesium oxide, sodium, magnesium, and chlorine oxide are all in the same period. Therefore, the, letter, uh, the radius is not taken into account. The radius is not taken into account. If you take into charge, okay, here the charge is more Z E and Z E plus minus therefore 2 into minus 4. There will be 2 times the lattice energy will be 2 times more. This will have more lattice energy because of uh, high charge on magnesium ion and the oxygen ion. Similarly, sodium chloride, you see sodium chloride and sodium chloride. Which one will be more uh, have lattice energy? For example, if you will have small, this will be having say plus, this, in this case, plus, plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. 
but the size so this will be more this will be the distance the distance will be more therefore sodium chloride the distance will be more lattice energy will be less lattice energy will be less therefore this will have more that is sodium chloride has more lattice energy based on uh, in this case the radius using the radius similarly if uh, what is about, what about the solubility what about the solubility of the salt in water if solubility depends upon i will uh, solubility is directly proportional to, is directly is inversely proportional to lattice energy okay lattice energy lattice energy is larger then solubility is lower lattice energy is lower and larger and therefore solubility the lattice energy increases in this order lattice energy increases in this order and solubility increases in this order because inversely proportional okay solubility increases in this order okay now uh, let us come to another problem so and there is actually in the case of solubility there are two factors in the case of solubility there are two factors one is hydration energy and another is hydration energy solubility is actually directly proportional to hydration energy for example sodium chloride is soluble in water sodium chloride is soluble in water sodium chloride has got the high uh, lattice energy still it is soluble in water because of hydration energy hydration energy is greater than if hydration energy is greater than hydration energy is greater than lattice energy then soluble so there are two factors there are two factors uh, how uh, they are opposed contracting they are of, uh, they are working in opposite direction hydration energy and lattice energy are working in opposite uh, direction okay now let us see the solubility is in the order of it is a question asked in iit uh, the solubility is in the order of now you find out lattice energy first what is lattice energy okay cs2 carbonate potassium carbonate sodium carbonate lithium carbonate in this case cesium is very very larger and the carbonate is also fairly larger and lithium is smaller okay now this is uh, the radius is small okay radius is small radius is small therefore lattice energy is high therefore lattice energy is in this order lattice energy is in this order and solubility will be in the reverse order as you see solubility is inversely proportional to lattice energy therefore the solubility is in this order solubility in this part okay now let us uh, similarly there will ask several problems um, in competitive examination let us now see von weber cycle how the lattice energy is experimentally obtained for example let us write the same equation first how is it obtained now you take metal metal on sublimation metal on sublimation you will get gaseous atom and then you will have so heat of sublimation of heat of sublimation of metal okay and now this is a, um, what is this is ionization energy this is nothing but ionization energy okay now similarly you take uh, h2 halogen h2 it is present in diatomic state halogen is present in diatomic state therefore you will get what you will get first you will get atom therefore this degree of uh, sorry uh, the energy of dissociation the dissociation energy is given by delta i t because only one is required there is only one atom is required therefore 1 by 2 delta h t the dissociation energy energy is one half therefore and then this is nothing but addition of electron removal of electron in this case ionization energy this is nothing but definition of ionization energy this is nothing but definition of uh, electron affinity and electron the energy released when an electron is added to uh, neutral uh, gaseous atom to form neutral gaseous ion uh, to form gaseous ion in uh, univalent gaseous ion okay now let us see now this one plus uh, when you take a solid 
metal and chlorine there, when you, when you react, it will form this thing. Therefore, this is the heat of formation of heat of formation of uh, one mole of Mx. Therefore, this is nothing but your lattice energy. This is nothing but your lattice energy. Uh, the lattice energy. Nothing but lattice energy or lattice enthalpy using von Haber cycle uh, according to Hess's uh, law of heat of summation. Hess's law of summation. You can write delta H of equal to okay according to Hess's uh, law of heat of summation delta H S. So this cycle plus the ionization energy. Okay. And next this one plus delta I2 delta H the dissociation energy for halogen. Okay. Plus and the delta affinity and plus again this one lattice energy. Lattice energy. So you know the uh, heat of formation. You can calculate the heat of formation. Um, by using bomb calorimeter or any other method, okay, you can find out the heat of sublimation, which is already in the clock table. Ionization energy is in clock table, the dissociation energy is also given, it is in clock table, pressure affinity is uh, in the table. So you can calculate by using um, this equation, bond Haber cycle, you can calculate, we can experimentally calculate the lattice energy. And we can also calculate the lattice energy by using von van der equation. There is a good agreement. There is a good agreement between the two values obtained. Okay. So it is very very important. Uh, it will be asked in most of the uh, JEE need uh, questions based on this. Thank you.